Alzheimer's continues to be a, a growing concern as well. It's mentioned on your website, I know. Yeah. Can that possibly be tied to a nutritional disorder as well? Well, it can. Uh, we, we know some of the factors that, that uh, tend to promote Alzheimer's, and there are things that people can do to pr protect themselves against Alzheimer's. We know, for example, it's a condition of oxidative stress. Um, there's been a lot of research on, on protect, the protectors in the brain that stop working. And the, some of these are, are called glutathione, but the, maybe the most important one is, is a protein called metallothionine. And that's less than one-third normal in people who die of Alzheimer's compared to older people who die of something else. And that, that, that is an extraordinary uh, powerful protector, both in the uh, blood-brain barrier that keeps toxics and other things from getting into the brain, but also at overcoming oxidative stress and free radicals in the brain. And so we've developed a metallothionine promotion therapy, uh, which uh, so far we've only given to 130 people diagnosed with Alzheimer's, but the early results are really exciting. And we find that most of them get a partial improvement of memory, and then they stabilize for years. Mm -hmm. But we, we need to do some double-blind controlled studies to make sure it really works. Mm -hmm. Other conditions that we, we work directly with are, are schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. I've seen more than 3,600 schizophrenics, and they also are, um, schizophrenia is another name that given to completely different conditions, and there are three major types of depression, I mean of schizophrenia, that need completely different directed treatment, even though mainstream medicine regards them as all sort of similar, and, and use atypical antipsychotics as the main way to treat them, but it, it would, they'd be far better off if they could identify which type of schizophrenia they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And another uh, group that we've worked with is autism. Uh, I think I've, my, my, my group and I have seen more autistics than anybody in the world. We, we've worked with clinically 6,500 cases. I'm, I'm certain we have the world's greatest chemical database for autism. And I think we're getting very close to understanding what autism is and how to help these kids. Mm -hmm.